welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my completed picks for the month of June 2019. Um, I did not do that many this month because um, I just kind of took quite a lot of time doing the few I did. Although they, some of them were quite simple, it was either I just was stuck on colour choice, I've been also quite busy as well at the weekend, so not had as much time at the weekend to colour as I'd like, which is fine because I enjoy doing the other things I did, which was fine. Um, yeah, and I think it's just, just me take, taking my time, really, even though part of me was like, I am bored of doing this picture, it's been five days now, I want to finish it, um, but I knew I really wanted to get it finished, so that is why I ended up moving on to another one, but there were a few that I also started that I just didn't finish as well, so um, hopefully maybe next month you will see those. Um, so one of the ones I did this month was this picture that I printed out ages ago and it's from Fabiana Atanasio and it's on a, one of her PDFs that you can get on her um, Etsy store, I think Fab, Fabby Illustrations or Fab Illustrations, something like that. And this is a Sleeping Beauty one. So I printed it out on tone tan paper and I used Prismacolor pencils for this one. And I really like um, how like bright the pinks come out in this um, and I really liked her hair as well like I feel like the blonde hair looks even blonder on um, this paper than it does on the other one and this and the gold as well like I just I just like all of it to be honest and I did of course put some a few stickles on here although to be fair I think maybe I should have chosen some slightly clearer ones because I feel like you can't see the gold for it or maybe I should have spread them a bit more but she's got also some stickles on her headband there and then I made it that the thread was like gold thread, so I put stickers on that as well. And then we got a little bit of sparkle gel pen on the little flower things there. But And also I like the fact that I could do the white as well, and obviously you can see white more. So yes, I did um, very much enjoy doing that one. So that is one of the ones I did. Okay, um, I, did a, I decided I wanted to do a really quick one um, in my um, agenda, so I picked one. Um, in here and I've marked the page ready so I chose um, this one because I wanted to just have a play around doing backgrounds in um, use my gelato so I use my Faber Castell gelatos to do the background so I did use water to like water it down and then I decided to use gold fine tech paint to do the stripes and then I used a gel pen three different colors pink purple and blue to do like over the little designs and then I just really simply did their their bonnets and them. I think I used Black Widow pencils, I think. Oh no, no I didn't. I used Crayola pencils actually. I used Crayola pencils for these two. I just thought, you know, because it was quick simple on, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to use my Crayola pencils for this. And it looks okay. I like how the beaks and stuff will come out and the and like the white stuff. I feel like there wasn't much depth with the <laughs> bonnets, but this was a quick one so it's fine. And then I used the fine tech paint on the um uh, on the, what do you call it, I think I used, did I use, I'm pretty sure you, actually I could have used Gansai Tambi Gold here, I certainly think this is a fine tech, because I don't have a dark fine tech, uh, Gansai Tambi, um, and then I use the Gansai Tambi pearlescent colours to do the backgrounds on these two here, so that was just a really quick fun one that I did and I really enjoyed it and did it like in literally a few hours, so I enjoyed that, enjoyed that. that's just like a little note for me for <laughs> a picture in a Hannah Carlson book that I want to do, <laughs> which I've had for ages and I haven't done it yet, but I just thought, oh, I should actually stick it on the page that I want to do it in, that would help. Alright, um, next is a picture from Season, so I am doing part of the Hannah Carlson project um, that is on YouTube slash Instagram for the months of June and July so I have two more pictures I need to finish colouring in actually but I did one of them um, this uh, well June because it's now July and it is this one and this did take me a little while to do so um, I really wanted to do, use some pearlescent pink in the background so um, I was thinking of using colour pencils to start with and then I thought uh, I'm not sure. So then actually I used my Neo Colour 2 and I just used a pink, a dark pink and a light pink. And then I got like a pink shimmer pearlescent uh, fine tech pink which I have used to kind of, um, so as you can see it's adding like a little bit of shine. I'm hoping you can see it. And um, on there. And then I have used Prisma Colour pencils for everything else I think. 
yeah, pretty sure it's Prismacolor pencils. Don't think I used Polychromos. No, Prismacolors. Had to rethink about it then. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've used those colour pencils. I have got some glitter gel pen. I have got, um, this is my, what's it called? Sp uh, Spectrum Noir, I think. Glitter. Um, sparkle pen that I got. So I've used that on the gems. And yeah, I felt like I wanted to do pink and sort of like, you know, an aqua green and sort of a light sort of kind of blue rather than red strawberries. Because I was thinking of doing red, like red and green, like red strawberries, obviously like they are normally. But then I thought, no, I felt like doing pink. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the colours that I chose. And I've used a bit of white gel pen as well to outline stuff. And then I used some Sparkle Sakura Jelly Roll, like the clear one, to um, which comes out kind of silvery if you just use it normally in a concentrated area to do the sort of seed things so yes I really enjoy doing that one so there's that one and I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody else's uh, pictures for that as well um so I got this book Disney mosaic mosaics mosaic we would say mosaic mosaic mosaics mosaics I think I'm really sorry French people my pronunciation is not very good <laughs> mosaics I think it's probably it's probably sounds nicer in French than the way I'm saying it but um it's a mosaic Disney book um I really want the the vitru vitru one but unfortunately I can't got an Amazon UK I'm going to see if I can get it on Amazon France sometime but I might have to wait I think um, because I have bought many books recently and I feel like I need to wait. So I, I decided to colour one of these. So basically, I kind of did it sort of in the way I would do glit stained glass window. And I decided, because these are basically just meant to be kind of simplish, like, fun pictures for me to do. Um, and it's really hard trying to show you with, because the thing is in the way. Anyway, um, I decided to do Saucer and Mickey, because... I love Mickey. He's one of my favourite Disney characters. And I love Saucer and Mickey. I have a stuffed... Sorcerer Mickey um, cuddly toy on my shelf. I do actually like collecting Mickeys wearing different outfits. I don't have loads. I've only got four. Yeah, I've got four. I haven't got a regular Mickey actually. I did used to have one like a long time ago. Um, so maybe next time I go to Disney, I will have to get myself uh, a regular Mickey. Because actually, I, I think the last time I went, they didn't have any new ones. I had all of the ones that they already had. So I was like, you know, I don't have a Christmas one or a Halloween one, but obviously I'd rather get those at Christmas and Halloween than... I don't know when I will ever go to Disney at those times of year, so I'll wait. I've got plenty of time. I don't have to get them all at once. Um, so anyway, I did this with Black Widow pencils, and I used Near Colour 2 for the background because I was just not wanting to colour all the, uh, you know, the mosaics in the background. I just thought no. <laughs> so um, I used Near Colour 2. I have put a bit of um, my... Uh, Spectrum Noir Glitter Pen on his hat and we have Fine Tech Pearlescent paint and also metallic paint for the stars because I thought you know he's Mickey he's supposed to be magical so um I've done that's how I've done that one and I really did enjoy doing it it was very simple it wasn't like a tricky one to do and I wasn't like you know going for it to look you know how you would normally shade stuff I guess I was just trying to like kind of just do it how I think a mosaic would look I know mosaics normally you would have like a bit slightly different colours so like the yellows might be a dark yellow light yellow you know but I just didn't want to do it that way so kind of like on the front here where you've got like different colours I just I didn't want to do it that way so I did it my way and I enjoyed doing that one it was quite fun so this one I finished just in time for June I started it at the beginning of the month actually maybe at the end of July uh, end of May um because this again is a sort of a re more recent purchase I think I got it like maybe two or three months ago and I finally finally got started colouring it because I've read the thir first Throne of Glass book and I am now on the second one. So <clears throat> I decided I'm going to have to colour the pictures that I have read first because I haven't read all the books and I don't really kind of want to ruin <laughs> the book series. Um, so I decided I would do this picture. For, this is the first picture in Throne of Glass. All the other ones in this book are from the prequel 
book which I may or may not read. I'm not really that interested in the beginning. You kind of know a bit about it anyway and I kind of feel like I don't need to know the rest of the origins now. But I'll obviously still colour those in anyway. But I just felt like I wanted to do one for the book I um, had read. So this is the beginning where we have our main character who's an assassin here, Selena I think her name is. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it right. And then I looked it up and apparently he's called Kale but it looks like Chol or Cole. Apparently pronounced Kale. I think Cole sounds better, but hey, you know, that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. And then this is Prince Dorian. So she has been in some mines. She's like kind of like a slave. So I made her really dirty. Now I've done all of this with watercolour um, with a little bit of pencil on him just because I kind of messed up there. Um, but I've done, it's all with watercolour basically. So um, I had a really good time like trying to make her look dirty. So I loved her hair, I loved how her skin looked, and then I was like, I'm gonna have to make her look dirty, and I was so worried I was gonna ruin it, but she looks actually okay. She looks pretty pretty good and dirty, so you know, I thought she's a safe, she's not gonna be she's not gonna be clean. Um and I wanted him to have gold armour because it says that they wore black. There was it says the gold royal emblem embroidered on the breast of black uniform, so um I didn't, he kind of doesn't have that on him. And also from, I was trying to find pictures of Dorian and he didn't really have black either. So he kind of had like this sort of color tunic type thing, maybe slightly different. And this is obviously just from people's own drawings because I don't think there's an illustrated version of this and there has not been a movie or a TV show. So, you know, I'm just kind of going with my own thing here. So I decided I wanted him to have gold because he's like the, the, um, cat, captain of the guard or something he's like the top top soldier shall we say so I thought oh maybe he could have gold like you know armor that would look cool so he's got a black cloak and then I didn't want him to have black clothes and a black cloak so that's why I gave him like a navy blue which I had to mix the paint for that because I decided to use my Arteza uh, watercolor uh, paint unfortunately the blues are very this kind of blue there is no like navy blue um, I mean there's an Aegean blue which I guess you could make darker which I did use for the carpet, but I was worried it was going to look more like this, so I didn't want to have, you know, the same colour as the carpet. I wanted it a bit differentiated. Unfortunately, um, I tried using a colour blue on him, and it just did not look right. And luckily then I mixed some paints and got his blue to look nice. So um, because of the type of blue we had, I just didn't have a dark enough colour to be able to put, like, a bit of shading in. That's why I had to go in with some pencils. And then I realised that this green and this blue probably does not go together very well. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. But I probably would have chosen... It would have gone better with this blue. Or, you know, maybe I would have done a different colour. But I think I had a hard time trying to decide what colour to do his outfit, to be fair. I was just like, I don't know what colour. Um, and then I also just did the walls and the doors. I have used um, a bit of Jane Davenport paint. So I did the door with Jane Davenport. Um, this little handle Jane Davenport. Just because I the browns, I didn't have like a dark dark brown and I just felt like I didn't want the same browns for the door I wanted different browns and I didn't want to like mix loads and loads of colours so I just thought it was easier if I just used those so I did and then I have used some fine tech paint to obviously add some gold embellishments because I just thought that because he's a really rich his kingdom's like really rich I thought you know they'd have loads of gold everywhere I've decided so that is why they have got some gold but I didn't want to do him in like metallic. I just thought it'd be look better if I did it in watercolour paint. So yes, um, this is like the Game of Thrones um book, but it's obviously Throne of Glass. But it's by the same publisher and has three of the same artists that do the Game of Thrones one. Is in this one, Thomas of Tam Tomic does not do any drawings in this one, but he did in the Game of Thrones one. So um, this is by like, Yvonne Gilbert, I think, and I really like her style. I really like how she draws the characters in this uh, book and the Game of Thrones one. So, um. Yes, I've decided, like, like Game of Thrones, I will do this primarily in watercolours. I mean, there might be a time or two I don't use watercolours, but this is basically going to be a watercolour book. And I'd like to show you, I did use quite a bit of water in some areas. And other than the page is a bit crinkly, there is no bleed through whatsoever. So, and if even if it did, it wouldn't matter because it is just text. So, um, yes, I'm very happy about that. And I really enjoyed doing this one. So I'll just pop it to the side. Next, this is <laughs> a picture that took a very long time to do, mostly because I got stuck on the colours and wasn't sure what to colour what, and that was why it took forever. And it's from The Magical Journey by Lizzie Mary Cullen, so I decided to do a picture, like, a lot of these pictures I look at and I think, I have no idea where to start, 
don't know if I'm not sure if I want to do this one so I did decide to just take a stab in the dark and I was going to have a go at doing some a picture I wouldn't normally necessarily choose to do to like first of all I would probably choose something else either like a picture with a scene I liked or easier line art so I decided to do this one which was a little bit busy so <laughs> the thing that was confusing was all this kind of bit here I was like is it part sky is it part path I didn't know there's like not a building and there's like the rest of the buildings not underneath here so this is what was a bit confusing and that's why as much as I love Lizzie sometimes I'm like I can't make heads and tail of your artwork <laughs> but that's a challenge isn't it so this is La Paz Bolivia and this is meant to be like a festival they have these little creatures that I'm guessing people dress up as them a little bit like how in Chinese New Year you have people underneath the Chinese dragons and lion costumes um it, this is kind of a similar thing that we have here but obviously I don't know what these baby balls because they have horns maybe they're sort of ball type creatures like one that looks like a bird I'm not sure what that is like some sort of monster but I had to look anyway, and they sort of se seemed to have these sort of colours. I mean, not this colour so much, but these two were kind of the colours that they had. Um, and I just like, I did look up like the city, but I couldn't find like this specific buildings in the pictures I found. So I just decided it was going to have a green roof. But I did see a lot of the buildings did have terracotta type coloured roofs, so that's why I did that for this. Um, I was trying to make these a bit more brighter because they had a lot of pattern stuff that was really bright colours but the ink tents are quite dark so unfortunately this is like the brightest one I could get because even this here the pink is quite is quite uh, dark so um, yeah I was a little bit like ah oh, I really wanted to get it really bright but oh well um, but yeah I really enjoyed doing this one and I enjoyed like mixing my colours around and um, there's a little bit of gel pen on it I used the Derwent, Derwent ink tents for this and I did have to use my two super colours I have a really light super colour and a really light pink super colour so I used that for the sky because the blue and the pink that is not very light in the ink tents and yes you can colour it lighter but I just thought it would be easier if I used the other other colours I had so I, I used those um but yes I really enjoy doing that one and um I think blue through I can't really see any but I know if you put a bit too much water on on this paper it will go through a little bit so you do have to be careful but I was okay with what I did so that's fine this was like a really really quick one that I did to actually have a look to test out my um, Arteza water brush pens I just thought I'd choose something really simple to do and luckily there are a couple of really simple like pictures in this book so this is all done with the water brush pens now this is like done with a straight pen these are done with straight pens and then these uh, is have me putting a bit of the pen the ink on a, pa a palette and then picking up with water and I prefer this how it looks with that and I did that the same with the berries and the stalk there but obviously these leaves are a bit dark so that's why they're a bit darker but yeah I liked how that came out and I thought the colours looked good um, so I'm hoping to do it um, because this is also a new book I literally got this I think like last week so um I'm looking forward to doing some more pictures in this, which is really funny because I originally didn't like this book. <laughs> All the flower, flora bundy. I mean, I didn't hate the, the pictures and things. I just thought, like, I just don't think I could do those. I just, I think I wouldn't necessarily enjoy it or they're a bit too difficult. And then I've seen so many picture, people do amazing pictures in them. And then I felt like, you know what, I can get it. And the fact that this is a smaller book as well makes it all that much easier because then I don't have huge loads of green leaves to do I just only have a small section to do so that's fine so that is that one in the flower year and then the last one I did was from Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures by Hannah uh, Lynn and this was a buddy colour with V from Colouring at V's or with V's I can never remember if it's at or with and then KP Colours from KP Colours so um, we both decided well we both we all three decided to do a um, picture from this book and I very much enjoyed doing it with them so we decided, mostly because KP really wanted to do this picture, but I also really liked it too, we did Mother Earth. Um, so I believe I used my Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils and maybe some Pablos for this one. With a touch of Pablo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just used the Luminance pencils for this, I think. <laughs> so, um... I have got some stickles, of course, and the sun and her flowers. Um, I did not use a marker to base anything, and then we got some stickles on the mountains as well, because, you know, 
just wouldn't be that without it. And then I have got, this is my Spectrum Noir Glitter Mark. I think this was the first thing that I, no, the second thing I used them on. Um, and I used that on the water to make it really sparkly. Because, you know, just thought it would be. Um, oh, I've got a few stickles over here as well, you know. Um, and I used some washi tape. I got this really nice floral washi tape. So I thought I would use that as a border because she's, you know, Mother Earth. So I thought she would have a nice floral border. So she has one. And, and yeah, I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, no marker base. I just thought I'd check. No, I didn't use marker base on this one. Because um, I, just, I just don't always feel like I need to. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Uh, might have helped a little bit with the greenery just because there was a lot of it. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know what kind of greens to use. Shall you just use the same ones or different ones? So, yeah, that's a little bit tricky. But, yeah, so basically that was everything I coloured for the month of June. So not loads of things. I think still a fair amount, though. And as I say, I'm very happy with what I did achieve. So um, hopefully next month I will maybe maybe do a few more. Who knows? I might do less or the same amount. It just depends. Um... I won't probably have, well, my work will finish at the end of July anyway. So then I will have, I think the last week of July, I won't be working anyway because it's uh, the school's finished. So um, hopefully I will have time to do a bit more stuff that way. But um, yeah, so hopefully, I'm not sure weekend wise, I might be quite busy. So <laughs> I'll have to see in regards to if I'll get a lot done over the weekend or not. Um, but yes, thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon and I look forward to seeing anybody else who's got um, completed pics videos. I always like watching those so I look forward to seeing other people's. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!